in this video we will see why we are using this gain margin and phase margin and why should we study this gain margin and phase margin if we know why we are studying it will be the better way to have an approach for solving the problem right why we are using gain margin and phase margin let us consider this we are given with a tra open loop transfer function h of s is equal to k by s into 1 plus st1 1 plus st2 okay let us consider there is having some error in this this represents a physical machine in an industrial plant let us consider it is giving some error results okay because of that the resultant product is varying by some amount okay we have to control that error so that we can get good product without any errors okay so the best way to know the errors present we go for frequency domain approach okay in frequency domain approach this gain margin and phase margin are the characteristics of the frequency domain so we use this gain margin and phase margin so by this yeah, we can get the errors in the gain and errors in the phase that is angle so by reducing the gain or increasing the gain or by reducing the phase or increasing the phase angle we can control the error right if we know the size of the error let us consider the machine it gives a 10 centimeter size product but due to error it is producing 13 centimeter size so that 13 centimeters this we know that 3 centimeters is the length which is the error it, which is producing by the machine so if we know that why it giving the 3 centimeters if we know that we can by reducing the 3 centimeter size we can get the 10 centimeter result right that's what we are going to get by frequency domain approach because frequency domain approach is a good approach because it gives the graphical approach of the problem that's why we are going for calculating the gain margin and phase margin in frequency domain we study the relative stability of a system by nyquist plot see i have drawn a nyquist plot as we are studying the frequency domain we are to go for nyquist plot we can go for border plot and other plots also but by gain margin and phase margin can easily understood by the nyquist plot okay see in the uh, actually if we know the relative stability we can uh, calculate the error which is creating uh, created in the transfer function okay what is the relative stability relative stability is nothing but how close we are to the error if we know the distance between u and an error by covering the distance we can cross the error so that we can get the fruitful result right so we are going for frequency domain approach in this nyquist plot is studied so that this gain margin and phase margin can be understood by that we can control the error okay see in the nyquist plot actually in the nyquist plot we are using the, this polar plots for the transfer function okay let this be the g of j omega and h of j omega polar plot and let us consider a unit circle which is having minus 1 plus j0 as a point and this will be the plus 1 plus j0 because let this is the unit circle so we are considering the real part will be the radius right so 1 this is the unit circle with origin as its center okay now see this polar plot when it is travel when we are traveling through polar plot wherever it is cutting the negative real axis this is negative real axis this is positive real axis this point will be considered as a and at this point we are going to get the gain see the distance from o to a will be the gain and by going through polar plot wherever this polar plot cuts the unit circle that angle gives us the phase angle okay this will be the gain and phase are obtained from the polar plot 
from this we can get that the relative stability in frequency domain are measured by calculating the phase margin and gain margin consider this g of j omega and h of j omega locus this will give the points a and b uh, so that we can calculate the gain and phase this gain and phase will give the quantitative outcomes of gain margin and phase margin okay and the point to be remembered is gain margin and phase margins are calculated only for open loop transfer functions gain margin and phase margin are calculated only for open loop transfer functions if we know the gain margin and phase margin of open loop transfer function the closed loop stability can be obtained from this see we calculate the open loop transfer functions gain margin and phase margin and we can obtain the closed loop transfer functions stability by knowing that if we have the gain margin should be positive for open loop transfer function and phase margin should be positive for open loop transfer function so that we can say closed loop system is stable or gain margin should be greater than 1 if we calculate in db decibels this gain margin should be positive in positive db maybe 10 plus 10 db plus 20 db this gives us the closed loop st st system is stable and phase margin should be positive angle so that we can say that this is the closed loop system is stable how we got this by estimating the open loop transfer function gain loop gain margin and phase margin we obtain the st closed loop stability okay now see if we increase the gain see this is the gain right if we increase increase the gain what we are going to get if the gain is increasing then the polar plot size also increases see let us consider the size is increased like this okay now what's happening from this we can say that this as the gain is increased the polar plot size also increased now this gain see now gain will be unity okay see this is crossing the polar plot is crossing the unity circle exact on it on the circumference okay so gain is equal to 1 when it is crossing minus 1 plus j0 point and phase will be 0 see it got nothing to cross at the second time uh, it is passing on this so it's there is no possible to touch it second time right so phase angle is equal to zero now what this determines whenever we increase the gain the polar plot is going towards the minus one plus j zero point right so we can say that this polar plot is going to the verge of instability right minus 1 plus j0 point is the instability point actually we have this we the main point is to calculate the relative stability what is what i have said relative stability how close we are to the error okay if we know the closeness of that error we can control it by some control mechanism by introducing uh, proportional controllers or integral controllers okay now how we are going to get this gain margin and phase margin from ga gain and this phase now firstly gain margin what is the gain margin gain margin is nothing but it is the factor by which the gain has to be increased so that it is going to the verge of instability okay from this figure we can say see by seeing this figure if the magnitude g of j omega h of j omega that is the gain is increased and when it crosses this when the gain is increased in this polar plot is crossing right 
when this crossing then minus 1 plus j0 point and the phase see this phase is minus 180 why I have considered minus 180s I am considering the phase reverse 0 minus 90 minus 180 minus 20 270 like that so when the polar plot crossing the negative real axis the point where it is crossing the minus 180 degrees that is the negative real axis this point will give the omega pc that is phase crossover frequency see the point at which the polar plot crossing minus 1 plus j0 point that is minus 180 degrees line gives us the phase crossover frequency let us term it at omega pc this point be minus 1 plus j0 and minus 180 degrees now if we increase this gain gain is ga if we increase this gain by an amount of 1 by ga and this if we add this add this to the transfer functions gain then gain into 1 by ga this is the increased gain at omega pc that is phase crossover frequency we put the ga what is ga is equal to modulus of g of j omega h of j omega right see by putting the omega pc point in this modulus value of g of j omega h of j omega we get ga value and if we multiply with the actual gain then this both gains should be cancelled so that we can get unity okay then we can say that g of j omega h of j omega is equal to this locus is passing through minus 1 plus j0 point as the we are we got this is unity right so we can say that this g of j omega h of j omega polar polar plot locus passing through minus 1 plus j0 point okay we are increasing the gain this much so we are obtaining the relative stability of gain margin so this by increasing this much by cancelling out the actual and we are getting the this one so we are driving the transfer function gain to uh, instability so we have obtained the gain so what we are now how to calculate the gain margin see gain margin let us represent kg is equal to how much we increased by 1 by ga right so gain margin kg is equal to 1 by ga what is ga 1 by ga is nothing but modulus of g of j omega h of j omega at what frequency omega is equal to omega pc we have to put this omega pc value into this so we can obtain the kg value this will be the gain margin now if we are considered in terms of decibels decibels we can say kg is equal to 20 log 1 by ga or twenty log one by modulus of G of J omega H of J omega at omega equal to omega PC. This will be the gain margin.
this is how we will calculate the gain margin by considering the transfer function and putting the s wherever there is s we will put the s equal to j omega and what we do is we calculate the modulus magnitude of g of j omega h of j omega and we put the omega pc value which is the phase crossover whenever the, it is crossing minus 180 degrees line on the polar uh, polar plot kg the gain margin is obtained this is how we will calculate phase margin phase margin is defined as see from this polar plot we can see that phase margin is defined as the amount of additional phase lag lagging i am saying phase lag it gain crossover frequency required to bring the system to verge of instability see what i am saying now this is leading this polar plot is leading we are increasing the gain and uh, the polar plot size is increasing right so what we can say from this point to when this is increasing the phase becomes zero right so we are that is we are bringing back the phase as polar plot size is increasing the phase is getting back okay additional lag required to bring back the phase so that it it will be driven to verge of instability this will be the phase margin at which gain crossover frequency see now frequency at which the magnitude of g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 1 we have to uh, to calculate the gain crossover frequency what we have to do is this modulus of g of j omega h of j omega is there right we have to do modulus of g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 1 by is calculating the modulus we obtain the omega pc value omega gc gain crossover c gain crossover frequency okay now how to calculate the phase margin as we have obtained the omega gc gain crossover frequency what we do is we have to calculate the phi gc that is the phase it is gain crossover frequency is equal to angle of g of j omega h of j omega so by this we may uh, let us consider the something transfer function we got uh, minus 90 degrees minus tan inverse of omega 1 minus tan inverse of omega by 10 by 20 what we do is whatever we what the value be omega gc we put that value in omega here so that we obtain phi gc is equal to some angle now phase margin phase margin is equal to 180 degrees plus phi gc this is the phase margin phi gc whatever be the value we put here by adding uh, this may be phi gc positive or negative value we get by adding with the plus 180 degrees we get the phase margin this is how we calculate phase margin and gain margin the point to be remembered is the phase margin and gain margin these are calculated for open loop transfer functions okay now to stabilize the closed loop transfer function what we do what should we get and first we have firstly we have uh, discussed that by the open loop transfer function stability the closed loop transfer functions stability can be analyzed what see now for open loop transfer function if the gain is greater than one or uh, if the gain in decibels it is the positive value or plus 10 db consider plus 20 db like that positive value and the phase margin it should be the positive angle then we can say that closed loop system is stable okay this is how we calculate gain margin and phase margin in the next video we will discuss the 
examples of face margin and gain margin.